Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue with your EA app that it's temporarily lost connection. You're currently offline, check your internet connection while we try to reconnect you. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to just do a quick Google search or a search on Twitter and see if people are reporting their issue is occurring to them as well. If the servers are down, there's really nothing you can do on your end. However, if you're noticing it works fine with other people, they're not having the issue, and maybe you come back the next day or a couple hours later and you're still having the problem. Something else we can try here as well would be to check our network settings. So open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, check them back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Should come back if I've successfully reset the WinSock catalog, you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And hopefully the issue has been resolved, or it should more than likely than not actually just resolve itself if it's a server-related issue. However, if you're still having a problem and you're pretty confident it's on your machine, we can do a network reset, which will reset your network adapter back to default settings. You will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby when you do this, because once you reset your computer, you will need them to get back on the Internet. So with that in mind, save and close out of many open programs and applications, and then proceed to open up the search menu. Type in Network Reset. Best match, or come back with Network Reset. Go ahead and open that up. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now at this point, close out of here. And you do want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.